Hello. Hi. My name is Dimas. I'm the lead developer of the Freshwater Biodiversity Information System, or FBIS, uh, from Katoza. I'm going to be talking about how FBIS can help mobilizing data for monitoring freshwater ecosystem. FBIS is funded by JRRS and Sanbi and developed by Cartoza and Freshwater Research Center in South Africa. There are many challenges when dealing with freshwater data in South Africa. South Africa freshwater biodiversity and ecosystem are under severe threat. The country unique freshwater biodiversity is under enormous pressure from climate change. Access to reliable data in change in river biodiversity is essential for informed freshwater decision making. Without an open access information system that unifies isolated data sets, existing data will continue to be underutilized. We address this need through development of the FBIS, freshwater biodiversity, a powerful visual data rich information system that serves biodiversity and associated data. FBIS is open for public and accessible at freshwaterbiodiversity.org. As we FBIS is built with Python and Django and we use open layers to display the map. FBIS is currently served more than five hundred thousand of occurrences records, uh, six thousand different species and more than 50,000 location sites. Let's take a quick look on the system. So here's the map view of the site. You can filter by the module and search by species name. This will give you the total collected records of the species and also the occurrences on the map. Filter options are provided in FBIS, including filtering by biodiversity module, uh, data source, temporal factor, spatial, endemism, origin, and conservation status. Querying subset of data using this filter provide an easy and powerful way to extract, visualize, and analyze biological data. You can also filter occurrences by drawing a polygon on the map, like so. give you the total record. And there's also special layers. Special layer function as contextual layers, and they may be turned on and off in the FBIS map. Site admins can easily add more of the special layer from the admin page. Uh, Dashboard, uh, FBIS has been built to incorporate a number of dashboards that summarize and visualize and allow downloads of biological and associated data. One of those dashboard is the taxon dashboard. In this dashboard, you can see occurrences data over times, origin, endemism, and conservation status data of this species. Of this species. And there's also single site dashboard. The summary data are displayed pie chart showing the proportion of taxa in its origin, animism, and conservation status, occur occurrences over time, and also the animism chart and conservation, conservation status chart. In addition, metadata associated with occurrences records are provided. All of these data are downloadable as CSV and also SVG file. It is a quick look of the multi-site dashboard. We still have many features in FBS that I couldn't cover in this talk, uh, like taxon management, source reference management, and also tool to harvest GBIF data, and so on. We also published an article about the FBS. We built FBS so it can be easily customized. We expanded FBS to other region, regions, in Rwanda, we develop Arbis, and in Botswana, we are, uh, develop Arbis. Currently, we are busy developing FBIS mobile app that can work offline, so users can collect occurrences on site without internet. Uh, FBIS source code is available on this link and also documentation. Also, that's it. Great.